let's put normal strains and shear strains together and look at the 2D version of Hooke's Law. We are looking at the 2D case where the, the normal and shear stresses in the Z direction are zero. So these are the, the normal stresses and the shear stresses that, we, we, that are non-zero. And this gives us the relation, you know, this gives us the normal strains in terms of the, that are caused by the, the normal stresses. And then the shear strain that's caused by the shear stresses. And this is known as the compliance form of uh, Hooke's Law because it gives you how much the, um, the material complies um, when you apply stresses on it. One can invert these equations and write this in terms of the, the stresses, so write expression for the stresses in terms of the strains rather than vice versa. And when we write expression for the stresses in terms of the strains, that's called the stiffness form. And that looks like that for the normal stresses, so that just comes from you know inverting those two equations. Um, and then you have for the normal stress in terms, oh, the, the shear stress in terms of the shear strain, and that's simple. You just need to take this factor um, to the left-hand side. And one can write either the compliance form or the stiffness form in terms, you know, in, in matrix notation. And I do that in the next slide. So these are just the three uh, equations that I showed you in the stiffness form. And here is, are the same equations written in the matrix form. And here I've just written this in terms of G. So if you write G as E over uh, 2, 1 plus nu, you will get, you know, you'll get this. And in, you know, we can extend this to 3D to get the 3D version of Hooke's Law. So let's take a look at that, and I'll write this in, in the matrix form since it's compact. And in the, th in the 3D version, right, you cannot ignore um, the normal stresses or the shear stresses in the Z direction. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see. So you have, uh, that's in the X direction, that's in the Z direction, and you'll have stresses like that, the shear stresses like that in the Z direction. And the matrix form looks like that. And you know you can compare that to the 2D version and it, it's an extension of the same idea, um, but you, you get more terms. And, and you know the factors look a little bit different. This is the form that you know essentially we will be using um, in ANSYS. Um, so this is the form of the material property of the uh, Hooke's Law that we'll be using in the ANSYS case studies for the bike crank as well as the bolted flange. So we have, we have six equations here, but we have added six unknowns, the, the three normal strains and the she three shear strains. So we have added six unknowns. And recall that from the 3D equilibrium equations, we have three equations and we have six unknowns. The, the, you know, the three normal stresses and the three shear stresses. So we still have more unknown functions than we have equations. And so we need to bring in more equations and we do that through the, the, the strain displacement relationships. That's what we will look at next.